Hello Twin Flames, this is Debs and this is your bonus Twin Flame reading for the month of November. Now as you guys will know, it is approaching 11.11. Um, I'm actually recording this just the day before, so I'm going to get this out to you on the 11th. In terms of numericals, 11.11.2022 actually breaks down to 10, which is completion. So it may suggest that some twin flames will come into union, zero being the God Force number, one being a brand new start. So with that said, twins, if you're ready, let's delve into this and see what comes through. Using, as always, an angel aura quartz to help me connect through with Source and the deck is the Gilded Tarot, Chiro Marchetti. So twins, if you're ready, let's see where you are on your journey to reunion. Here we go. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this twin flame reading for the collective. This is the 11th of November, 2022. Archangel Michael, please join me and provide your guidance throughout this reading when appropriate. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Ariel, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Azrael. Thank you, Michael. Okay, now twins, as you know, Archangel Michael never permits me to cut the deck for Twin Flame readings. So the cards are going straight onto the table. Now the top line, as always, for those of you who are familiar with my readings, will represent the energy of the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine energy coming through below. We're looking at six cards for the Masculine. Six for the Divine Feminine. As you know, you could be a Feminine sitting in your Masculine energy and vice versa. This is also, of course, relevant for same-sex connections. One of you will be carrying the masculine energy, one the feminine energy. All right, twins, nearly there. Okay, let's straighten this up for you. Now, the card in the center will show me the energy between these two souls by, I would say, around about the middle of December, okay? About a month's time. Okay, guys, now, underneath the deck, goodness me, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is divine timing taking effect. Underneath that, in the upright, this can suggest somebody hanging on to the hope of being with someone but not taking action. Now, in the reverse, it could pertain to the fact that someone is ready to release someone or is simply wanting to take action to come into union in the 3D. Very exciting. <laughs> Fingers crossed, twins. Okay, let's see what comes through. As always, we're going to start with looking at the Divine Masculine's energy. And this, of course, will show us what's on his mind and how he's feeling at this present point of time. Yep, I felt the energy. Ten of Cups in the reverse. So the Divine Masculine, whoever this is, is deciding that they're very unhappy in potentially a long-term commitment. They could be deciding to move into legal separation or wanting to talk to their committed partner, maybe a karmic partner, about divorce. That's what we have. This is a masculine who is incredibly unhappy in the 3D and he is taking action. So twins, we come to the energy for the Divine Feminine. This is going to show what's on the feminine's mind, how she is feeling and potentially what she is wanting to do going forward, what's on her mind. Knight of Cups in the reverse. The feminine could be a water sign. Either the feminine has given up hope that the masculine is going to move towards her to offer her commitment or she's holding back expressing her feelings. There could be some nervous energy here, but she's definitely looking at the past. All right, twins, we come to the second card for the Divine Masculine. This is going to show how he actually views his Divine Feminine from his point of view, how he sees her feeling, what he believes is on her mind. Let's have a look. 
the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy. So either the masculine feels that the feminine has distanced herself because she feels this is a toxic connection, or the masculine is still involved in a toxic relationship, or she is releasing some kind of obsession pertaining to these two coming together in the 3D. So that is how the masculine sees the feminine feeling. Now, of course, there could be a Capricorn in the mix. We move to the second card for the Divine Feminine. This, of course, is going to show us how the feminine sees her Divine Masculine, what she believes is on his mind, how she believes he's feeling at this present point of time. Let's see. The Moon, Cancerian Energy. The Divine Feminine may understand that the Masculine has very deep feelings for her, but the Feminine may also realise that the Masculine is being elusive. Maybe there's been no communication for the longest time, and she may feel that he's wanting to cover his present situation away from prying eyes so that she doesn't find out what situation he's in or maybe what he's planning on doing. So she feels as if he's pulled back and there's a mystery surrounding what situation he's in and what he may be planning on doing in the next few months. Interesting energy. We move to the third card's twins, and these are going to portray how each twin sees the actual relationship with the other twin, the connection that's been formed, that's been built since the first day that these two met in this lifetime. So let's have a look and see how the masculine views the relationship with his divine feminine. And as always, twins, this is going to be from the masculine's point of view. Judgment, Sagittarian energy. The divine masculine knows that he needs to make a serious decision. This is the divine calling judgment day. It's time, says the divine. The masculine needs to choose whether or not he's going to potentially remain in a long-term situation or whether or not he's going to finalize that connection and move forwards to commit to his divine feminine. But the divine is very clearly signifying to the masculine that it is time. No more delays, no more waiting. We know you're unhappy. We want you to take some kind of action. Very interesting. Now, twins, we move to the third card for the divine feminine. And this, of course, is going to portray how the feminine sees the relationship, the connection with her divine masculine. Let's find out. Eight of Wands. Now, there could be a situation where the twins in the 3D live a long way away from each other. It could be that the Divine Feminine sees the connection moving forward with the masculine if only he would connect with her, if only he would reach out and have that conversation. I feel the feminine is holding back because there's, there's a mystery surrounding the masculine's situation and what he may be planning on doing. So the feminine is ready and willing to open the door to communication and really wanting to move forward with the masculine, but the divine is asking the masculine to reach out to the feminine. So the feminine is not choosing to communicate at this point of time, but she's open, I'm feeling, to talking about reconciliation, reunion. Now, Divine Twins, we come to the fourth cards. These are going to portray the messages that each twin wants to relay to the other twin. Now, as always, these could be messages of love and support for the journey. Unconditional love sent from one soul to the other. These could be pieces of information sent between the souls telepathically during dream state. These could be, of course, questions that one twin wants to ask the other that they may not have had the confidence or the opportunity to ask in person. 
So let's find out and see what the Divine Masculine would want to relate to the Feminine now and over the course of the next few weeks. Goodness me, twins. King of Wands. Beautiful energy. The Masculine may well be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this is a Masculine who's been looking at the past and he's deciding to take action. Not only that, twins, the masculine is wanting to act with integrity. I have to do the right thing in the situation. Very interesting and incredibly exciting. So what the masculine is relaying to the feminine is, I know you've been holding back. I know that I've kept my situation under wraps. I do feel that you would still want to move forwards with me if there was communication and if I made a serious decision. I'm ready to take action now. Wheel of Fortune, the Divine is asking me to make a firm decision. And I feel the Divine believes it's also time that these two potentially come into union in the 3D. Now, twins, let's have a look at the Divine Feminine's energy. This, of course, is going to show the messages that she would wish to pass to her Divine Masculine. Let's see. Ace of Wands. I think the Divine Feminine wants to know two things. First of all, that if the Divine Masculine does reach out and communicate... Is it just based on physical attraction? Is it just lust and desire on his part? But the Ace of Wands is also the energy of that twin flame. So I feel that the Divine Feminine may also be asking the Masculine, are you ready to unite? Have you moved through ascension? I'm ready for a passionate new start if you take the right course of action, if you act with integrity. Beautiful energy, guys. Okay, we move to the fifth cards. Now these are going to portray the challenges and obstacles that each twin faces that they need to overcome in order to move into union in the 3D in this lifetime. Challenges could relate to geographical distance. Potentially we may see that the masculine has been involved in a very unfulfilling long-term partnership with somebody else. There could also be issues to do with finances, family members getting involved, maybe children. So let's find out what the masculine believes are his main challenges that he would need to overcome in order to move towards the feminine into union. The Knight of Wands, fire energy, again, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Now, the Knight of Wands as a challenge could be the masculine making sure this is not just physical attraction he feels for the feminine. There is love. There is a much deeper connection between the two of them. He may be trying to figure that out. He may be wanting to ensure in his own mind his true thoughts and feelings relating to that energy. Am I just wildly attracted to the feminine or do I love the feminine? Now, the Knight of Wands as a challenge could be the divine saying to the masculine, you now need to get moving. The divine feminine is holding back her love. She fears that the masculine is not going to take the right action in order to detach from another situation. You've kept the feminine waiting far too long. You need to get moving. You need to move very quickly towards the feminine to let her know that you do want to move forwards towards her into a commitment and maybe that you're taking charge of another connection. So that is the Divine Masculine's challenge. All right, twins. We now move to the fifth card for the Divine Feminine and this is going to show the challenges that the Feminine faces the blocks that she would need to remove from the Twin Flame path to carry on the journey to reunion. Let's find out. The Sun, Leo Energy. One of the challenges for the Divine Feminine is that she's sitting in the energy of awakening. She is certain that this is her true Divine Masculine. She's become fully awoken to their connection. 
She may worry about the distance between the two of them. If there is geographical distance, the sun can represent international travel. She's nervous that if the masculine does move towards her wanting union, would the distance be a problem? Could they somehow compromise and maybe talk about one moving towards the other in order for this relationship on a practical basis to be successful? The sun energy is also Leo. So given that we have a king of wands, this king of wands could potentially have Leo in his natal chart, sun, moon, rising, or his Venus placement. The divine feminine may also be hoping that the divine masculine has gone through a full awakening to understand that this is not just an attraction between these two souls. There is a very deep connection. They are supposed to be together. Now, twins. We move to the penultimate two cards. Now, these are going to portray what each twin is hoping for over the next few weeks. So let's first of all delve into the energy of the masculine to see what he's hoping for pertaining to his feminine by that time. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel the Divine Masculine is considering putting effort into the connection, maybe considering divorce, but I feel that he wants to ensure that his Divine Feminine is still wanting union with him in this lifetime before potentially he puts a lot more effort into the connection and maybe even moves into a divorce process with his karmic partner. I feel the Masculine does want to act with integrity, He's heard the divine's call. He is very unhappy in the situation he's in and he knows with the will of fortune it's time to move into a new cycle, to move forward on the twin flame path. But this is a masculine who is not wanting to take any kind of serious risk. If he believes that the divine feminine has tried to energetically walk away from this connection, maybe to form a relationship with a soulmate, then this is a masculine who may not decide to go through a full divorce. So I feel the masculine is wanting information pertaining to how the feminine actually feels before he moves into a more serious situation with his karmic partner in terms of disconnection. All right, twins. We come to the final card for the divine feminine. Now, this is going to portray what the feminine is wanting pertaining to the connection with her divine masculine. Let's have a look. Two of Cups in the reverse. Twins, this is a dramatic reading. I feel that if the divine feminine is of the understanding that the masculine is unhappy in his connection with his karmic partner, but he is unwilling to move into a divorce process, the divine feminine may hope that she has the courage to let this connection go, to let the hope of twin union go in the 3D. We're looking at a very, very strong divine feminine energy who is totally understanding what she's deserving of. Goodness me, twins. All right, now let's have a look at the overall energy. Now, this, of course, is going to be the energy felt by both souls over the next few weeks pertaining to this particular twin flame connection. Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is guilt, remorse, regret. The Five of Cups is also a sense of sadness, but this can also be the twins looking at the situation from a negative point of view. The Divine Feminine may be set in her desire for the masculine to move towards her, potentially having completely severed the tie with his karmic partner. The masculine may be looking at the situation negatively, because he is not sure as to whether or not the feminine would accept him in her life if he hasn't totally severed the tie with his karmic. But it could pertain to the fact with these two cups, twin flame union is possible. 
but maybe the divine feminine needs to be a little bit more flexible to see the divine masculine's point of view. And the divine masculine needs to understand the fear that the divine feminine is feeling if there was still any connection with his karmic partner moving forward, if these two were to reunite to come into union in the 3D. Complicated. Twins. Shall we look at messages? Let's do that now. So here we have Twin Flame Mirror Dialogue Oracle Deck Secret Messages from Your Person, Diane Garris. So, Archangel Michael, may we start please with messages from the feminine to the divine masculine. From the divine feminine to her divine masculine. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Two messages, twins. From the feminine to the masculine. I can't get you off my mind. I know you are my person. Yes. The divine feminine is totally sure that this particular masculine is her true divine twin. Totally sure. One more message, please, Michael, from the feminine to the masculine. Okay. The feminine may be trying to put up boundaries. I have family and work obligations. Again, I'm getting a sense that the feminine is wanting to push the masculine away if she feels that he's not going to take total control of his karmic connection. Interesting. Okay. Now, messages, Michael, please, from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. The Masculine says to the Feminine, I'm trying to heal old wounds. So there may be a lot of emotional baggage that the Masculine has to clear before he is ready to take control of his situation and potentially move towards the Feminine. Second message from the masculine to the feminine, Michael. Thank you. Okay. I know my ego is in the way. Yeah. So the divine masculine has had to fight his shadow side and may still be needing to do that. It could be that he feels that if he moved towards the divine feminine, people would disapprove. There may be some embarrassment and he's sitting in ego. I love you, but I'm not sure how this is going to change my life. So the masculine is nervous that if he moved into the connection with the feminine, moved into full union, it would pertain to be a very big life change. I would say the biggest change may well be moving, relocating from one area to the other or asking the feminine to relocate to be with him. Mutual message from each twin to the other. I'm worried about you moving on. Yeah. So the Divine Masculine is worried that if he doesn't take charge of his situation, he's going to lose the hope of being with his feminine in this lifetime. The feminine is nervous that if the masculine is considering disconnecting from his karmic partner, if she is not flexible and sees his point of view, he could potentially move on and meet somebody else. So twins, a very interesting reading. I'm leaving it there. Enjoy this time. Happy 11-11. And I will be with you very soon for your Twin Flame reading for the month of December 2022. See you then. Bye now.